Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans. It's everyone's talking about it. It's on social media. Tonight, the Joker and the Nuggets were going to Miami. The Joker brothers were sitting courtside just in case things went left. Right now, things have not gone left except on the scoreboard because the Nuggets are, are kind of putting it to the heat right now. Uh, they're up 17 points late in the third quarter right now. Um, but speaking of the Nuggets, since we're on them as well, Michael Porter Jr., a player that I, I think the world of. I think he's a really good player, but unfortunately, it looks like the injury is starting to catch up to him. He's having back surgery. He's going to be out indefinitely. It's a scary thing, man. He's 23 years old. This is his second major back surgery already, Trip. Are we seeing a player who's possibly damaged goods? I don't want to say that just yet. Um, because I really like Michael Porter Jr. I think he has potential to be really good. We've seen we've seen it in spurts when he's been healthy and been able to play. But another, because this is what he was dealing with before was the back. And, you know, we saw a, a, a back injury take a six foot uh 10 6 11 all nba all defense uh you know dwight howard from superman to clark kent you know those back injuries ain't nothing to play with you know when you got to jump you know now his game isn't predicated off of athleticism he's more of a finesse player anyway but if your back is messed up, it's going to be hard no matter what style of basketball you play. So I really hope that this be the last thing they can just flourish in his career. Um, you know, I like the kid. He's a good kid. You know what I mean? Like, and I, and I, I want to see all, all, all our young, young brothers and sisters doing well. So I don't want to see this kid, you know, be out the league because he just couldn't stay healthy. Um, you know, I, I still miss Brandon Roy and what he brought to the league when he was here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Brandon Roy was the top shooting guard during his time in Portland. He just could not stay healthy. You know, Grant Hill. Grant Hill would probably be one of the 75 greatest players of all time if he didn't deal with all the injuries that he dealt with, his, you know, over his career. You know, T-Mac dealt with a lot of injuries. A lot of, a lot of guys that, you know, were great NBA players and probably would be ranked higher in the record books you know, they just weren't there because they could not stay healthy, you know? So I really want to see this kid stay healthy. Um, you know, just look at Joel Embiid. He's doing, he's, you know, he's, he's been doing well for himself, you know, to the point where he's gotten to MVP level. He's somebody that dealt with, with injuries early on in his career, you know? So I really want to see this kid get better. And then on the, you know, for the Denver Nuggets, he brings a whole different element to the game. Like, I, you know, for them, yeah. for their sake, it's, it's, it's a good thing they did sign, um, What's oh, the kid from Aaron Gordon? Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Yeah, it was a good. Thing, good thing they signed Aaron Gordon because you know you don't have Michael Porter Jr. And again, six foot ten, a guy that can do what he does. You know, obviously he's not Kevin Durant, but I'm just talking about from the size wise and the things that he can do. You know, he's a much better shooter than Ben Simmons. You know, what I'm saying he's not afraid of the, of the moment. He just has to stay on the court. Sucks for them because they're already still without Jamal Murray. Obviously, they don't need him tonight in Denver, you know, but just to, to get, you know, tie this thing all together and to get back to the situation with the Jokic uh, brother uh, being at the game. I love it. I love it because the only, you know, that whole thing came about because, you know, the other Morris brother had made some comments on, on Twitter about it. And it's like, bro, you know, at the end of the day, you know, your brother was in the wrong. You know, he started this whole thing. Like, you took a cheap shot on somebody thinking, you know, whatever. I don't know if you thought he was soft and he wasn't going get, to get back at you, but he got back at you. You know, unfortunately, you got hurt. I think he's still out. I don't think he's playing tonight either. He's still, he's still, nah, he's, not at the, he's not out there tonight. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, it, that part of it is unfortunate, but you started the whole situation. You caused all of this to happen. That only happened if you don't run up to the court because if you, if, if Morris runs up the court, Hits uh, Jokic like he did. Jokic falls, gets injured, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Now we're looking at the situation like, yo, bro, come on. What are you doing again? Because these guys, the Morris Twins are kind of known for, you know, that style of basketball. So it'll be like, yo, really? Again with this? 
you know, now you on the other side of that though. Now you don't got hurt. You missing some time. And I get it. You know, your brother wants to step up for you. And you know, that's when you got a brother, that's just how it is. I don't give a damn how wrong he is in the moment. I'm going to ride with him to the very end of this thing. And then when we get into, you know, it was just us. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. You know, you know, you was wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? But in the public or anybody that's around, I'm going wholeheartedly stand by my brother no matter what. You know what I mean? And that's that's what what happened. And you know what? Jokic's got some brothers too, and them some big boys. Right. One, one brothers look like he's about seven foot tall. The other one look like he's about six ten, six eleven. You know what I mean? And I get it. They wanted to be there for their brother. So they, you know, they bought tickets and said, just in case, you know, anybody want to get crazy, hey, you know, it is what it is. That's my brother. That's what you do. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I yes, am. I am. And that's not that's what you're supposed to do. And and you know, you brought you bring up a great point too, because the initial chief shot, if Joker gets hurt or if something happens there, you know, and then, like I said, now it's a whole nother conversation where it's like, wow, you really took out the MVP of the league. And we can't pretend like those things have never happened before because it was kind of a dirty play that Pat Beverly had that injured Russell Westbrook the first time that he got injured when he injured his knee. You know what I'm saying? So those are the type of things that, quote unquote, the these season. enforcers, right, these enforcers of the league try to do to intimidate guys. But if it goes left, now you could be robbing a guy of, of his prime because now you injured him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if he, he hits Joker in the ribs and, and Joker twists the ankle the wrong way or, or twists the knee the wrong way, and now he's out for an extended period of time and it's like, wow, so now the MVP of the league got to be out because you wanted to do a, a dirty play. Um, you know, so I, I agree with what Joker did. I, I agree with the league suspending him as well, but I agree with Joker. Yeah, cool. did. You, you got to stand your ground. I can't let you get that cheap one on me and then turn your back on me in a sign of disrespect. Because as you know, where we come from, if you do something to me and then just give me your back, you basically saying, I, I, you, you're not a threat to me. You don't give nobody your back after you do something like that. So that's I'm on man, that. My man Claude, uh, no, my man Ray, Ray uh, Gibson said on uh, on Life, he said, you S-O-F capital T. <laughs> that's how you feel about that, man. If you right. turn your back, you, you take a cheap shot at somebody and then turn your back and try to try to jog off gingerly, you saying that man is S-O-F right. capital T. And right. you got what you had coming to you. So I ain't mad at that. Shout out to Joking for standing be. up and defending himself. You know, listen, that's how I go sometime. And, hey, unfortunately, that man got hurt, but it is what it is. You put yourself in a position because, once again, the way I respond to the BS that you do, hey, it is what it is. I don't care if you, if you do something to me on a, on, a, on a two scale and I come back at you with a 10, that's your fault. Because you shouldn't have came at me because how I respond is how I respond. It is what it is. Yep, exactly. In terms of Michael Porter Jr., though, I am, I'm, I'm worried for the kid, man. I like him a lot. Uh, there's footage circulating out there, Trip, where you were making fun of me um when the Knicks took Kevin Knox over Michael Porter Jr. because I, I always go back to that night I was on the couch there on set saying take Michael Porter Jr. we end up taking Kevin Knox the story goes everyone was scared off by the medicals because he had already had a back surgery in college here we are a few years later five years later I believe to be exact now another back surgery he did get paid this offseason he signed five years 170 mil so he's got the money he's got the security but bigger than that I would love to see the kid live up to his potential. This was a guy coming out of high school, was the number one rated player in the country. When he went to college at Missouri, he was expected to be the number one overall pick. Injuries robbed him of that opportunity. Now I think we're starting to see injuries rob him again. And as, as you highlighted the other players, these are guys that we all put the what if next to. What if Derrick Rose never got hurt? What if Tracy McGrady, uh, Grant Hill, Penny Hardaway, what if those guys never got hurt? What if Brandon Roy was healthy when Dame Lillard got there to Portland? What they could have been. So... Like you said, they've got already the MVP of the league. They've got an all-star in Jamal Murray. Michael Porter Jr. could have been the missing piece to make this Denver team really special in the Western Conference. And unfortunately, now we got to take a wait-and-see approach and hope that he recovers from this second back surgery.